Are you looking to go crabbing on the North Oregon coast and looking for the best locations to catch Dungeness Crab? What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another crabbing video here at Herman's Outdoors. Today, we go through the top 5 North Oregon coast locations for going after Dungeness Crab. Having grown up in Banks, Oregon about an hour from the coast, our family traveled up and down the North Oregon coast every summer to hit the water for crabbing and fishing. We would go out for weeks at a time, going out with my grandfather's boat for daily trips to drop off and pull up the crab pot, do a little trolling for Chinook, and at night, we feasted on Dungeness Crab before some intense games of Pinochle or Solo. I grew up on the North Oregon coast, crabbing all the different bays and estuaries, learning from my grandfather, my dad, my uncle on how to crab, where to crab, and how to stay safe on the water. For this video on North Oregon crabbing locations, we talk about the locations from the northwest tip of the state to Sand Lake. So if you're looking for a day trip out crabbing, a weekend of crabbing and relaxation, or vacationing along the North Oregon coast and looking to go crabbing, then you need to visit these locations. Number 5. Neatarts Bay. Neatarts Bay is about 5 miles southwest from downtown Tillamo. Driving west from Highway 101, Neatarts is a small but plentiful bay for Dungeness crabs in the winter. Neatarts has a small boat launch which can get crowded on busy days, but getting into the bay is a very short ride from the dock to the best crabbing spots. Along the main road parallel to the bay, or out towards the jaws towards the Pacific Ocean are the best spots to catch Dungeness crab in the bay. There's no dock crabbing, but there are spots where you can climb up on the rocks and throw a crab snare, which is really fun to catch crabs. The best months to crab in Neatards are September through January, and after a day of crabbing, grab a beer from the Schooner Restaurant and Lounge right next to the boat launch and enjoy the beautiful view of the bay and maybe hear all the crazy fishing and crabbing stories from the locals and travelers passing through. In the spring and summer months, Neatards is also a location for plentiful variety of clams. Just be careful of the incoming tides so you make it back to land. Don't ask me how I know. Number 4. Nicanicum Bay The Nicanicum Bay runs right through the town of Seaside, Oregon, a town known as a beach resort town destination. In the summer, Seaside is a getaway location to get away from the heat waves in July and August we have here in Oregon. Seaside hosts beach volleyball tournaments in the summer, opens the Carousel Mall with a functioning carousel for kids, and has many hiking, walking, and biking trails available. The Nicanicum Bay is typically calm and a great location for crabbing with a kayak using a ring, trap, or even a snare. You can crab successfully everywhere in the bay with a boat or a kayak and the bay has a few spots to crab from the bank and if you don't have a boat head over to the 12th street bridge and you can drop off a ring or a trap off the bridge anytime my family traveled near seaside in the summer we had to drive by and watch folks crabbing off the bridge it always amazed me how in the middle of seaside you could just crab off the bridge and a pro tip if you want to crab off the 12th street bridge get there early to get a spot as it gets crowded very quickly and is a ton of fun cheering people on pulling up pots or rings from the bridge. My good luck charm catching crabs off the bridge was a Dr. Pepper that I would bring with me and drink after the third crab we caught of the day. Number 3. Columbia River Estuary in Hammond The Astoria Hammond area is at the northwest tip of Oregon. Astoria and Hammond has been a fishing and fish processing community for hundreds of years with multiple fish processing canneries right on the river. Astoria is popular in August for the Chinook and Coho fishing with hundreds of recreational fishermen and professional guides chasing Chinook salmon and looking for that unicorn 40 pounder. But the Hammond Astoria Estuary has some really good crabbing locations too, both on the north and south side of the navigation channels close to the banks in about 25 feet of water are the best locations to drop the crab pots off. And if you go fishing with a guide in the fall, you may also be able to drop off crab pots on the way to the fishing areas. Of all the places I've crabbed in Oregon, the Hammond Estuary has produced some of the most filled crab pots I've ever pulled up. Boat crabbing is the best method to target Dungeness crab here, and I recommend a chicken fish carcass bait combo in each trap. Then get ready to pull up some heavy crab traps up. You will definitely be getting a workout in after pulling up those heavy pots. Number 2. Nehalem Bay The first time I ever went crabbing with my grandfather and dad was in Nehalem Bay when I was 6 years old. In our summer vacations at the north coast, we're usually near to Halem Bay so we could go crabbing. I like crabbing in Nehalem Bay because it has 5 boat launches within the bay. One in Nehalem Bay State Park, one by the Nehalem River Bridge, one in downtown Wheeler, and one at the Jetty Fishery Marina and Kelly's Brighton Marina. If you're traveling through the north coast, the two best spots for dock crabbing and learning how to crab are at Barview and Kelly's Brighton Marina. There's also plenty of space to rent gear and crab from the dock or rent a boat and head out into the bay for the day. The bay has some of the best crabbing year-round and it's one of my favorite spots for a crabbing fishing combo trip. And if you're lucky, you may even see the famous Nehalem elk herd that's over a hundred elk large hanging out on the beach or in the Nehalem Bay State Park. And please, do not feed the elk, that's how accidents happen. 
And number one, Tillamook Bay. Tillamook Bay is by far the most popular bay on the North Oregon coast, and it produces big and plentiful Dungeness crab. The bay is one of the few locations on the North Coast where the crabbing year-round is consistent, even in the summer months. My family has had epic days in Tillamook Bay under the summer 75-degree heat with multiple limits of crab in just hours. Crabbing in Tillamook Bay is done by boat out of the Garibaldi Marina. The best crabbing locations are across the bay towards Cape Mears and the section of the bay heading towards the jetty, aka the Jaws, as the locals say. My favorite month to crab in the bay is September and October, where you can drop off the crab pots and go fish the ghost hole along Highway 101 for Coho or Chinook. And after a day of crabbing, go to the ghost hole tavern in downtown Garibaldi for a couple of cold ones. Just be careful about the ghost that lives in the bathroom. He may snare the crabs out of you. And that's my top five crabbing locations on the North Oregon coast. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, hit that like button. Comment below on which location on the North Oregon coast interests you the most for some crabbing or is your favorite crabbing location. And if you like crabbing, fishing, and other outdoor content, hit that subscribe button below. Now get out to the North Oregon coast and go catch some crabs. Dungeness crabs, that is.